Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your Bitcoin report for Monday, the 29th of November, 2021. Thank you for tuning in. You know, everything in the markets now is counterintuitive. And I'm going to explain to you what I mean by that. Uh, normally, the way things have worked in the markets for hundreds of years is if you get bad news, the markets go down. And good news, the markets go up. But we're in a period right now where markets have gone counterintuitive. And it's the same thing with Bitcoin and the cryptos. Now, we got a new variant that's came along. Right? How bad is it going to be? Well, we don't know just yet. Will there be new lockdowns? Well, we don't know just yet. We don't know. We really don't know. And so the markets are in a holding pattern right now. Right? But what about cryptocurrencies, you know? Well, let's get started. Let's open up the charts right here. Bitcoin tops $58,000. We'll focus on Omicron. That's the new variant. And the Fed Powell's speech is the two things focusing on. Uh, it says Bitcoin has regained some poise, tracking signs uh, of, of, a, of, a, of a risk reset in trade, traditional markets. The cryptocurrency's immediate prospect remained tied to the newly detected coronavirus variant named Omicron and, and, and its potential impact on the Federal Reserve's monetary policy. Uh, it said that the top cryptocurrency by market value is trading near 57300 at press time. Uh, representing a 7.3% gain compared to the low of 53,359 late on Sunday. Okay, here's the thing, guys. This is a very counterintuitive market. And the way I see it is, the worst the, worst the impact is of this new coronavirus variant. And we all remember what happened back when the original coronavirus came out and how the world basically locked down. That lockdown is what's got the price of Bitcoin here up to, well, it was up to 64000 I think it was up to $67,000 even. It was the effect, that counterintuitive effect of the lockdown that got Bitcoin up to these massively high prices. And you say, well, why? Why? It all has to do with fiscal stimulus. See, there's different kinds of stimulus. The Fed has monetary policy that they do, and that's a type of stimulus where they do something called quantitative easing. In quantitative easing, they purchase bonds from the treasury market, which lowers yields. As yields go lower, it increases uh, the ability to for people to borrow money, which then again stimulates the economy, and it also it makes the stock market go up and everything. And as everything goes up, speculation goes up, and so money flows into the cryptocurrencies. That's monetary policy. But when you give the kicker, the real kicker is fiscal stimulus, which is where you're giving money directly to the people, and this actually affects the money supply out there. You remember the stimmy checks? Well, if they have to go backwards on everything, and if, if they descend back toward a period where the people, they have to shut the businesses and everything else, they have to support the people with fiscal stimulus. And fiscal stimulus is the most powerful form of increasing the money supply out there, making, well, we've already went through a long period now where supply lines have had constraints very much so and there's lack of inventory in a lot of places within the system and there's not a big flow coming in of of new supplies like we had before now if they have to do fiscal stimulus again well there's going to be a lot of money out there with no place for it to go because you have to that money has to be spent and it always purchases something or goods and serv goods and services it produces that is being produced that is being shipped in and then that's sold. This is part of the of the financial system is the selling of goods and services. Well, if there's not enough goods to provide to the people and there's an oversurplus of money, what happens is the price of goods shoot up. 
they can climb by 10% a month in the right circumstances. Easily climb by 10% goods, goods that you buy. Things like if you want to buy a can of beans or you want to buy a tent or uh, you want to buy, uh, uh, it doesn't really matter what you want to buy. A lot of these items are shipped from China. The ports in China are having problems. The ports in the United States are having problems. Supply lines in general are having a lot of problems. And this could actually get worse with a new variant at the same time that they're doing more fiscal stimulus. This is what could actually happen. But it hasn't happened yet. If that does happen, we could see a ne the next big leg up for cryptocurrencies. Okay, if that does happen. So that means a worst case scenario with the new variant could actually be a big positive for cryptocurrencies. But now let's look at the opposite of that. The opposite side of the coin from that is the Fed's out there right now and on they want to cut. They want to cut the amount of monetary stimulus to the system. Basically in something called a taper. Where they're going to cut $10 billion the very first month, next month, from the amount of bond purchases that they're doing. This tends, the tendency of doing this tends to make interest rates rise, which is the opposite of interest rates falling. And when you get rising interest rates, it's more difficult to borrow money. And so what it does is it starts to shrink the economy and it starts to deflate the economy. Markets want to fall. Cryptocurrencies will be one of the most sensitive items out there that will want to fall in that kind of a situation. And that's the kind of situation we're going to be in if this variant proves to be not bad or not potential it doesn't have much potential then that's the scenario we're facing right now so these are two different roads guys one road leads to Bitcoin and the cryptos going up and the other road leads to Bitcoin and the cryptos going down and to figure out which road crypto is going to take you have to think to yourself what's this variant going to do what's your bet what do you think it's going to do? Do you think it's going to be really bad and they're going to have to go back to lockdowns? In which case, crypto will go up? Or do you think that this is just going to be a flash in the pan and there's going to be no new lockdowns or anything else and that the Fed's going to go into their tightening policy on schedule? In which case, crypto is going to go down? So here we're sitting here at this point, and this is why crypto is not moving much because out there right now, your investors are looking at the same thing I'm looking at, and they don't know which way this thing's going to go yet. Okay, so you guys starting to get the picture? And that's why Bitcoin's just kind of sitting there at these levels right now. Because investors out there are like, ah, I don't know. Is, is this going to pass over like a, a dark cloud that passes over your head and then the sun comes out again? Or is this going to rain down hail on us from the sky what's this gonna do it's a dark cloud looming over us they just don't know what it's gonna do yet when they figure it out or start to figure it out as news starts to come in over the next couple weeks we're gonna see which direction this is gonna move you guys can sit there and you can make your bets on which way you think it's gonna move and this might affect whether you decide to buy cryptocurrency or sit on a pile of dollars or whatever you're doing you know anyway let's take a look at cryptocurrency today 57,931 uh, was 59 it was 2592 let me refresh the page and see which direction this is moving 29 2595 so it's moved up three billion more uh, which is not much it's moving up very slowly Almost hovering around the same price of 57563 right now as we're looking. What's the silver price doing today? It's down. It's down 28 cents on a day so far at 2281 Awfully cheap for silver right now. When you consider the fundamentals behind silver, I almost think that every crypto investor out there should probably have a little bit of silver too, you know. It's a good idea anyway.
Thank you guys for listening to my show. Like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the very next episode. Bye-bye.